What is up guys, Logan here again with another video coming at you. Today we're going to talk about the stock called Wearable Health Solutions. Their ticker on the OTC is WHSI. They're engaged in manufacturing medical alarm devices which are used to summon help in the event of an emergency. Its product includes iHelp. So if you look over here, it says move over Apple Watch and Fitbit. There may be a new sheriff in town. Wearable Health Solutions and its game-changing products could turn the potential 81.5 billion global wearable tech market on its head. Wearable Health Solutions I help technology featured in TV news programs The Morning Blend as an innovative solution for in-home assisted living trend. Says you're seeing them. Wearable technology is becoming an increasingly significant part of our daily lives. When products like Fitbit and Apple Watch hit the market, I don't think we could have ever imagined that potential growth of the wearable tech industry. It's kind of crazy though, and by crazy I mean simple. The potential benefits of tracking your health through wearable technology cannot be underestimated. Worldwide, people are now recognizing these benefits. Yet we may be nowhere near the peak of this tech's innovation and popularity. If you're not a believer yet, that's fine. What do I know? I wear an Apple Watch and merely lift weights and skip leg day more often than I'd like to admit. But let me break down the big four professional sport leagues in the U.S. The way they have adopted wearables could signal that we might be in a once-in-a-generation type of era for this revolutionary tech to hit its stride and astronomically grow. So we can talk, we'll start with the NFL. The league partnered with Zebra to place sensors in players' shoulder pads to track data such as player speed and distance traveled, which is really interesting. I really... I like seeing the data that they get back from that. The NFL Players Association also partnered with Whoop, a wristband that monitors players' health factors such as sleep quality, heart rate, and calories burned, and Whoop is also on the Joe Rogan podcast. NBA adopted an Aura Smart Ring to monitor its players during the NBA bubble last season and widely adopted a sensor by Kenexon Warren in the waistband of basketball shorts. This device can potentially track a player's change in direction the intensity of movement and the frequency and airtime of jumps. In other words, indicators that tell us how hard a player is working. NHL partnered with a German company, Jogma World Corp, to put microchips on players' jerseys and inside game pucks with antennas in all 31 NHL arenas. Real-time data can be gathered. That's crazy. MLB was ahead of the curve during the 2016 season. So as you guys can see, it is really impact impacting these big four sports, right? These are only four of the most prominent sports leagues in the world that are combined or worth an exorbitant amount of money. Plus, with the league's widespread adoption of wearables, the best athletes on the planet are using wearables now in some way, shape, or form. And I also have another video on my channel where I talk about a wearable that was a local startup company way back, a video I did in uh, early 2020. That's potentially part of the reason why a recent report from research company Gartner forecasts a global increase in wearable sales of about 18.1% totaling approximately $81.5 billion, adding that the global wearable device market can continue to grow beyond 2021 and reach roughly $109 billion in 2024. But while athletics and fitness have a clear lane in the growing wearables market, there are other niches that are wearable health solutions may be able to conquer. What are these niches and wearables I'm talking about? Mobile health products and services, medical alarm devices, and e-health. This is where it says wearable health solutions is a provider of mobile health products and services. So they're they're a provider of it. They have innovative wearable healthcare products, tracking services, turnkey solutions to enable its users to be proactive with their health and safe and protected at all times. The company's products and services are also state of the art and cost effective. So you guys can see here the solutions market is projected to reach roughly 213 billion by 2025. Wow, from approximately the 50 billion it is at right now at 2020, right? And we got to look at this, right, as this is a growing market and we're always going to need products. We're going to continue to improve health. We're going to continue to improve our medicine. Our medical field is going to continue to get better as technology innovates, right? These markets are just going to continue to grow, right? I know it sounds crazy, but if you look at stock prices 10 years ago, 20 years ago till now, you can see that they have continue to grow because the market's always going to be there if a company's able to innovate. And then we have also the top reasons to consider wearable health solutions. The global wearable technology could exceed 81.5 billion in 2021. We have the um, major sports all accepting wearable technologies, right? MLB with the first league to do it. 
and all the other ones that you guys can stop and read if you would like to. But let's get right into the technical chart, which is always my favorite part. So they've had a strong 2021 this far. The stock started the year at a low of roughly less than even a penny per share. However, it quickly advanced about 269% to its February 19th peak of approximately 31 cents a share. As you guys can see, they got a lot of volume right around this time when GameStop was popping off. While the stock did see a pullback after peaking, reflecting the overall market at the end of February, it may be a potential reversal between March 8th and 24th. Stocks advanced almost 32%. Suppose the buzz on its potential revolutionary products continues to grow and the company flourishes with overall wearable market. In this case, this reversal could very well continue and then some. So this company may have a multitude of bullish technical indicators. Fundamentally, the company also saw its latest 12-month gross profit margin increase approximately 23.3% from the previous 12 months to about almost 60% right there. Wow, that's really impressive. If you look at WHSI's key competitors, according to Finbox, its latest 12 months gross profit margin looks very favorable against many of them. So you guys can see here, gross profit margin. These are a lot of their um, competition. So we have Sermotics, Aspira Women's Health, Napco Security Technologies at 30, 33, 42%, but healthcare right here, right? This in the sector. And then we have wearable health solutions on the OTC at almost 60% gross profit margin, which is a great way to get ahead, right? Just the profit margin right out of the gate. Wearable Health Solutions is better known for its iHelp mobile medical alert system. The current condition of this product, the 3G, is one of the most innovative on-the-go medical alert systems that I've ever seen. Why? Because outside of being great on the go, it also keeps you safe at home. The product is a clear loud audio that makes it easy for the user and operator to listen and hear. It also provides coverage wherever a user needs through operating on a nationwide wireless network. Not to mention the product's also completely waterproof. Wow. It works in poor weather or the bath or shower. Whew, that's next level. It gets better from here too though. The product is compact in size at about 1.5 ounces with dimensions of just around 2.5 inches, 1.8 inches. Yet yeah, it's durable, shatter resistant, and extremely powerful. We have the Lone Worker Program. The Lone Worker Program is a multi-function button for check-in and SOS alerts, ensuring employees can get help if their health or safety is at risk. This small lightweight device is waterproof and durable enough for use indoors or outdoors. Devices can be customized according to your needs as well. So this is a lot of the benefits that you can use with this thing. GPS location, fall detection. Wow, that's actually really nuts. Rechargeable battery. And then if you guys want to check out their leadership team, you guys can read about them right here. The chairman of the board, also CEO of the company. Then we have Peter. He's the president and director. So you guys can read more about the company and the inner workings behind it. Well, that's going to be everything for me in this video. I hope this helped you guys. Now remember, this is a sponsored video, so always make sure to do your own due diligence before investing. Always do your own research. And I'm very grateful for another opportunity to highlight a company that I like and to see what products they provide, right? And sharing that with you guys. So that's going to be everything for me in this video. I hope to see you guys back here soon. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll have tons of more content coming out soon. So we will chat with you guys in the morning, plan on live streaming again, and I will see you guys soon.